guys, my name is Jack Gardiner and welcome back to yet another free lesson on a Friday. This must be 20 something now. If you do want to skip ahead and just go straight to the lick and the lesson, then I will leave a timestamp down below. But I just thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update. Um, yes, I want to say a massive thank you, as always, for all of the support with Escapade. I have recently just opened a Teespring store. A few of you guys were talking about t-shirts, so here they are. I mean, I'm not the best model for this, but here's one of them. There will be a few different options down below, things with like just a logo and stuff like that. But yeah, I think these actually look really cool. Ramiro did an amazing job with the artwork for Escapade, so I mean, hats off to him. That made my job easier creating these. If you like the tones as well, that is actually one of the tones from my Escapade um, Deluxe Pack. It's one of the archetype Nolly ones. I think it's the Lark Lane lead that I'm using. Um, yeah. Just sounds really cool to my ears. Um, Neural DSP are a beast. Yeah, without further ado then, guys, I will go straight into teaching you this lick and the concept behind it. So what's going on with this lick then? Essentially, the backing track is over an A chord. So that leaves us the possibility of kind of like major or dominant seven tonality. And um, with the following chord, there being a G major in there. I'm going to say that it's more like a Mixolydian type groove. So scale for that would probably be a Mixolydian. That'd be your kind of home base. The scale which I want to talk about today is actually what I like to call the dominant pentatonic. So the way which I view this in terms of intervals is root, three, major three, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, flat seven, and then root again. So altogether that scale will be... Now the lick which you heard at the beginning is using some bends, but it's really kind of outlining this dominant pentatonic sound, the characteristics anyway, which is like the major third and that fourth, as well as the flat seven. So I started all the way down here. I'm gonna play the root note of A, and then I'm gonna bend the flat seven into A. So that's really difficult if you've never done that before. So again, this is gonna train our first finger into bending a full tone. Then on the next part of the lick, I'm just gonna essentially go from the fourth and then bend in from the major third to get it. So we get. So we've got. Actually, a cool thing you could do is you could either bend that flat seven into the root again the second time, or you could just play the normal flat seven. So same with the third on the second time, bending into the fourth, you could just go, which is I think what I did right at the beginning. Then essentially you just cycle that through the octaves. So if we watch this, then here, that's gonna be the same thing. Now that's really hard to pitch if you've never done that before again. It's this first finger bend. The tricky part comes on the next string. So some people prefer to bend up there. Some people prefer to bend down. I think it's good to be able to do both, to be honest. So either this or... Sorry, I was a tiny bit sharp on that one, but you get the idea. Moving on to the next string set then, it's gonna be the same. And then this kind of sound. So we've got. I don't want to say, here's the lick, there you go. I don't believe in that kind of stuff. I think you should try and adapt it to as many situations as possible. So. Or. Etc. Etc. I hope this all makes sense. Just be really careful with the pitch of those bends. Even as I was demonstrating it then, I was struggling to keep those perfectly in tune. I think that's the main thing to take away from this. And as well, get used to bending down with on the G string or up on the G string. So this whole thing again. Or I hope this all makes sense. So that is essentially like an A dominant pentatonic lick and it will work over an A dominant seventh chord. 
Guys, if, you, if you've enjoyed this video, then please do make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell for notifications. I'm currently running a 25% discount off all of my lessons over on my website. All you have to do is use the coupon code SUMMERSALE. I'll leave that down below. But guys, thanks again for checking this out. Until next time, cheers.